Yeah, they back again. Uh, here doing my top 10 figures of 2017. So right now these are the uh, what's in front of you is the uh, my honorable mention. So uh, yeah, these top tens are always hard. So but um, yeah, these are some of the honorable mentions throughout the year. Some of them uh, really hard. These two just missed the list. This guy, that cape he came with. Just knocked him off, kept knocking him down, and that cape was just. I'm, I'm um, sometime this coming up year, I'm gonna get a custom done of that cape for his guy. So, sell. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to be biased because he, he's my, my favorite Dragon Ball Z character, but he just barely just got knocked off the list. Uh, some of these other figures. Tell, like I said, I'm thinking about doing a. I'm probably gonna do my top ten wrestling figures. I was thinking about <laughs> uh, DC uh, Multiverse. Uh, probably do something. Uh, yeah, He Man. Uh, Usagi was. I mean, it was just hard. This <laughs> NECA, you know, they continue to be excellent. So, even Transformer, this swoop, I really like. But he just almost. <laughs> he was going to be on the list, but just thinking about it, he got knocked off. So, I'll try to keep this. These uh coming up short my list so these are my honorable mentions uh, so remember this is my list and like I said I didn't get every figure this year this is what I the figures I got and what's gonna be on this list so uh so stay tuned and we'll get to it real soon <coughs> sorry we'll get to it right uh get to it real quick here all right. At number 10, we have the Marvel Legends Bullseye figure from the Netflix Daredevil wave, uh, which I thought was the best figure in the wave myself. Um, really had fun with this figure <laughs> this year. Uh, so, you know, he's probably paid one in a lot of places now, but I think he was the best figure. And, uh, I really like this body mold. I hope, <laughs> I hope this is the body mold they start using a little bit more from now on. So, uh, so yeah, this is my number 10. So, at number 9, we have the SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Harley Quinn figure. So, yeah, it's another one. Uh, <laughs> like the Harley Quinn before, I wasn't planning on picking her up, but got her and was. So I got her kind of the figure I think is kind of made <laughs> uh, the actress a little bit better. Uh, well, <laughs> it's in figure form. It kind of made her look better in figure form, and then she really does in the movie, especially those uh, cheat cakes there. So <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my number nine uh, of this year. Number eight, we have the Figma Zero Suit Samus. Uh, yeah, this is another figure. Uh, I've been coming back on my Figmas. <laughs> kind of a little bit off the back expensive. But um, one thing they do well is female figures, and this is no exception. Um, I've been displaying her with the short hair. Uh, probably change it up middle year <laughs> next year. But, yeah, uh, don't have the Figma Samus figure. Uh, probably need to go back and try to get that, but yeah, this has been a pretty, really well done, very cool figure to have, very fun I've had with her this year. Well, number seven is the DC Collectibles DC Icon Supergirl, which is a figure I've I've kept close to me. I've I really. Uh, I should have took more pictures of her, but I've been really having her in hand, just messing around with her a bunch. Uh, 
my favorite Supergirl. I'm a big Supergirl uh, fan. This is, I think, by far the best Supergirl that's been made. Um, yeah, so, uh, number seven. Number six is the Sentinel 4-inch nail uh, Mega Man X figure. Yeah, this guy. Been liking this 4-inch uh, nail line. I probably need to see what they're going to come out with next year. And, uh, with Mega Man returning back, uh, getting a new Mega Man game next year. So, uh, try to get back more some more Mega Man stuff. So, I hope we get some more Robot Masters. But this guy is just... Uh, he's better than the, I like him better than the Mega Man that came out the year before, so, but, this is my number six. Okay, here we go at number five, so, this was a hard one between five and four, it could have been interchangeable, they were higher up, but they just got knocked down, but, if you know me, uh, it's been a year of Wonder Woman for me. My favorite Wonder Woman I got this year is this Bombshells, DC Collectibles, ah, DC Collectibles Bombshells, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, the whole Bombshell line has been really well done, but this was my favorite one I got from that line this year, so, uh, and I still like this one. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite Wonder Woman figures I've gotten, so, uh, this is my number five. Number four is the Marvel Legends Angela from the uh, Titus Bill figure wave. In my opinion, I think, is the best Marvel Legends figure, period, that came out this year. So, but yeah, she was, I had so much fun with this figure. I think is one of the, I think it is the best female figure Marvel Legends Hasbro has ever done. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm hoping to see. I, w <laughs> uh, I really wish... They would use this figure on a certain uh, Sith Lord figure, uh, this body mode on a certain fifth Sith Lord, uh, uh, female Sith Lord. But yeah, I really enjoyed this figure this year. It's one of the best, this all around, one of the best figures I think Hasbro has done in a while. And number three is a figure that's not for everyone, but this is the first one I got. Uh, and I had. A lot of fun. You do have to pose this thing. Uh, and it's the Revel Tech. Amazing Yamaguchi Revel Tech. <laughs> Revel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Wolverine. Get the name right. Can't talk right now. But yeah. yeah like I said, not a figure for everyone. Especially, you know, I know the price is pretty steep. Like I said, it's probably the only one I get. I don't know who else. That Magneto does look cool, but you know. Uh, yeah, just price-wise, it's not appealing <laughs> to get these all the time, so, yeah, but I had much, a lot of fun with this guy, so, uh, this is number three on my list this year. Okay, number two, it's not so much a tie, but it's more the line itself, uh, I'm gonna go back and get Ryu, but I'm really looking forward to that Akuma, but. This Street Fighter line, nah, the SX Figure Arts Street Fighter line from Bandai, I think is the best thing to come out this year for me, personally. Uh, this is my list, my opinion. Uh, people want to talk about these faces on it, but yeah, these are the, the characters, you know. Can't mistake, it. This is, that's Cammy and this is Chun-Li, so. And Chun-Li would have been here or number one. <laughs> Then I got Cammy and, and it's just it was just hard to choose. So I'm just saying the Street Fighter line I think is one of the best lines that came out this year. So my number two, both of these guys, gals, gals. <laughs> and my number one, if you haven't guessed by now, but <laughs> uh, which is a surprise. I didn't know how much I would like this guy. I knew I would, but I didn't know how much, really much, I would like this guy. Um, it's made me actually like him as my favorite writer from from now on. Because uh, still watching the show, but he wasn't in the show much. But the movies made me really like him, and 
this design, you know, just look at them, having them throughout the year, and just uh, messing around with them. Yeah, I, it's been my favorite figure that I've gotten this year. So, um, yeah, so, uh, just really can't say enough about this. You know, I say Bandai, uh, the figure arts line is at their best when they do the Kamen Riders, is what I think myself. So, this is my number one, the SH figure arts, uh, renewal, Kamen Rider Skull. So here's everybody, uh, <laughs> most everybody, you can't see everybody, but most everybody, so, um, in the shot, so, again, <laughs> probably if I, <laughs> it's probably be up, I was saying that I probably have it up after the new year, but, uh, I got it done faster than I thought I could, and thought I would, so, again, thanks to all the new subscribers, thanks for, the support throughout this year uh, and look forward to what's going to happen in uh, 2018 I know that Akuma figure will probably be on this list by the time this year, next year so uh, thanks guys for watching and like I say until next time don't support scalpers peace